Hello everyone, I'm excited to show you this video. I am showing you how I get my luscious lashes to look this way. Like, these are not falsies. I'm actually, these are my lashes, my own lashes. So this is a lengthy process. <laughs> so if you don't have the time, uh, then this is not gonna be for you. But uh, I use this process like when I don't want it, <laughs> when I don't want to, you know, use my falsies, like when I go to the gym or I'm, not, I'm just not, you know, I'm lounging at the at home, not going anywhere special. So I do have to point out that it might work. I'm not saying it's a guarantee, but I had short, sparse Asian lashes that were straight um, and they became even more sparse when I started using the uh, falsies. So what changed is definitely an eyelash serum. Like if you saw my videos, like the before and after, the eye and the eyelash serum really works. It, I used it only on this side and compared it to the side where I didn't put it and it works. Now I still, um, I'm using the eyelash serum here and I'm starting a new one to test out on this side. So I just started a new, new one. So this side is still, I guess you could say, growing out. It's not the same length as this side. You might not see a difference, but I do. So to get started, I'll show you what you need. You definitely need, well, I would definitely say, get the eyelash serum. <laughs> that really works. I really strongly believe that you need to get that. You need an eyelash curler. This one too is a must. I think this really helps. It makes a difference uh, is an eyelash primer. And I've been using this for years. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. And then you need an eyelash comb and a spoolie. I mean, if you don't have the eyelash comb, well then a spoolie will do. And then definitely what helps is having those, those tubing mascara. Uh, like Blink. I'm using Blink Amplified. I used this for years and then I stopped, but now, now I'm reusing it uh, to help form like a coating, like a base on your lashes. And then you follow it up with your regular favorite mascara. Me, I, I'm using the Air Volume Mega Mascara in Waterproof. What I liked about the, uh, the eyelash serum is that it did lengthen my lashes. However, when I, I applied my mascara, it lengthened, but it didn't seem to, it still didn't show. I don't know if you could say, I don't know if you understand. It didn't show my lashes like full. I want it to look dense and full. So this is the reason why I'm doing this whole process <laughs> to make my, my lashes look luscious. So, um, yeah. And so that's all you need. Oh, and also like a sink for hot water or like, you know, a glass filled with hot water to heat up your eyelash curler. So if you want to see the details on how I got these luscious lashes and keep on watching. First step is I usually heat my eyelash curler. So that's what you have to do. Um, you can run it, you know, under the tap hot water or like I do, I like to have it sit in here for a little bit in the water for a bit. Now, once it's warmed, I take out my eyelash curler and you dry it first. Make sure it's not boiling hot. It doesn't need to be hot, hot. And then, oh, I combed my lashes through first so that way I don't get spider, spider lashes. And then I curl them. Okay, so I curled my lashes. Then I put back my eyelash curler in the hot water to keep it like warm, like a curling iron. Then next step I take, which I think is the most helpful thing in making my lashes more like thicker and keeping it uh, long and dense is the eyelash primer. So I, I'm using L'Oreal Voluminous Primer. And I have to say, this is pretty good. So what I do is I put like several coats, oops, several coats of this primer. Like it doesn't show that I'm putting on, but there is. And it just, the primer helps to thicken your lashes and to hold 
the mascara. Make it, you know, make your lashes look more dense. Do it on the other side. Okay. okay. Now, after I applied my primer, I wait a bit for it to, let's say, dry a bit. And then, I take my eyelash curler again, dry it off because it was heated. And then I curl them again. So I think the trick is, the most important part, is definitely the primer and having an eyelash curler. This will really help your lashes if you have short lashes that will help your lashes look more full and long. All right, so after that, I'm going to apply one of those tubing mascaras. Now, I've used this before, Blink Amplified Tubing Mascara. I used this years ago when I didn't have any lashes and I didn't feel like it lengthened as much, but now when I'm revisiting it again, retrying it with a primer and now that my lashes here on the side is a little longer, I think it makes a whole lot of difference because I use this first before my regular mascara. My logic is this. This is supposed to create like tubes around your mascara. So therefore, if it's creating tubes around your, your lashes, it will help thicken, thicken and lengthen and keep it in place. And that way, when I put on my regular mascara and I'm ready to remove it, it will just slide off. I don't know if that makes sense. <laughs> because apparently, if you don't know, the tubing mascara, it comes off with just water. That's it, it just good eye here. My long lashes on this side. see I don't know if you can see and then before it dries I make sure to use this I guess a lash comb and then I go through it so that way I make sure to separate the lashes and I don't get those clumpy looking lashes as well as using a spoolie also to separate and make sure I don't get those clumpy lashes so I don't know if you could see the difference between the two sides, excuse me, between the two sides. Okay, and then I usually repeat it if I'm not satisfied, so I'm gonna do it again. And then a trick, so that way I don't get those spidery tips, I don't, apply lashes, I stop, I start at the root and then stop midway. So that way I don't get those spidery tips. Those or those clumpy tips, uh, clumpy tips. And then I do this, repeat the same thing. I comb it through. And like, I'm telling you, like the lash serum works. Like this is crazy. I did not have these lashes before using the lash serum. And now I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. Look at that. Do it again. So there we go. So we're creating like the foundation, the base for my regular mascara because I want my mas uh, my lashes to look not only long but dense and full. Like I'm trying to make it look like a falsies because <laughs> I can't live without my falsies. Like. So I usually wear this kind of look mascara when I'm going to the gym or I'm not going anywhere special because this is a lengthy process. <laughs> this takes time. I'm going to use my regular mascara on top of the Blink tubing mascara. And I'm using, I like this one, Air, uh, L'Oreal's Air Volume Mega Mascara in wa waterproof. I always use waterproof because I have oily lids and this does not smudge or flake. So 
I'm gonna apply maybe one or two coats of these. Okay, so I'm going to comb it through again. So now my lashes are starting to look really more full. I don't know if you can see, compare the difference between uh, with the two mascaras and without. So I'm gonna do it again until I'm satisfied with the look. So now it looks really luscious. This is crazy, look at that. It looks like fuller and more luscious. There you go. Do you see the difference? Like, I'm impressed between the two. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side. There we go. Now, once I'm satisfied, I let it dry. I'm going to probably go ahead and curl my lashes one last time. This is like a necessity. Everyone, every girl needs this. Although this is not a good one. This is like from winners also. I think I heard Shumera is one of the best eyelash curlers. If you have a suggestion, let me know if you have a fave, because I'm still, I don't know, is, is it worth the price of getting an expensive eyelash curler compared to like a $5 one? Let me know if it makes a difference. So I'm gonna curl it one more time. That. Okay, and then I'm just gonna fan it one last time. Okay, so unfortunately one side got clumpy. You can see here, oops. <laughs> Which is why it's important to constantly, you know, comb in between and not coat your lashes all the way to the tip. And that's it. So here's the end result. My lashes look fuller. Oh my God. They look fuller. But definitely what I think what really helped is the eyelash serum and it works like i did a video on it it works it made a difference and now i'm like really happy with mascara because it really it works look at it so here are my lashes before using um my technique on making them luscious see they're very bare and these are my lashes afterwards using my very lengthy <laughs> process but i'm very happy with them it looks fuller and denser and here are my before and after pics. <laughs> oh God, I look, why do I look drunk in that before picture? I don't know, but that's not very flattering. And here I just wanted to show my lashes in all its glory. <laughs> so try out this technique guys.